Very nice car you got there. Yeah. The, there seems to be a popcorn bag on the steering wheel though. Anyways, look at this. What's going on guys? How's it going? Mark Freeman 408. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. We're just looking at this mess down here, wondering what we should do with our lives. So I kind of wanted to jump to Saturn again, but we just discovered that the steering is completely gone. So, so I think cool. we should still try and start it though. I tried starting it. Not that well, no, we, we'll have to boost it. Yeah. I think the battery's just hanging on by your life. Yeah, we should try and start it. And we got to take this freaking these two back to the scrapyard. Like, I don't know how we're going to get them on the trailer, but we're going to have to get them on somehow. Like, these things have collapsed on us, onto themselves. So I'll probably just drag it over, lift it up, back the trailer underneath, and uh, yeah. So let's, uh, let's try and fire the Saturn up, Justin. See if we can even move it and then uh, we'll get the Ford loaded up get the scrap here we'll see if they have another car for us then we'll come back and if they do have another car for us we're gonna jump the Buick today so see how it goes yeah all right cool yeah. he's got the Impala I can't really get the hood open on their Saturn though she's she's hurting it is windy down here today sorry if there's any wind noise This but hopefully you can stop. <laughs> oh, nailed it up here. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get, pop this hood open and get her started. Current daily struggle, we can't get the hood open now. I don't think we can reach the battery. You get her? Had it. When cars bend up like this, they're hard to work on. Someone's gotta go jumping them all the time. I don't know who that would be. Oh, that was awesome. How'd that feel? Swell. <laughs> oh, I'm not excited to put that on the trailer. So apparently the little tab back there is bent under, so we've resorted different measurements. Measurements? I don't know what I'm saying. Our battery's a little mucked. What's that? Our battery's a little mucked. Oh, yeah. Just tossed in there like an old boot. Yeah, she had a hard life. I think we could start it once more, though. Oh, we'll give her a shot. I mean, the team wants to start it, so we should try and start it. We got some power in there. We'll fire it up. Got some keys in there? Make sure you hold it wide open. That's how these Saturns like to be uh, treated, taught. Be amazing. I think I'll start. The engine still runs. All right, let's head to the scrapyard. F this. Cars we deal with. Look at that. Just a daily driver, eh? Have to my pockets here a bit. Let's go figure this out. This is, uh, this is gonna be a nightmare. A bit of water down here. A little muck city. 
this jump here is pushed all the way back here maybe it'll be a little easier I can just send him off into the abyss worry about it later that's some kind of thorn stuck in my hand all right that's faster the way there the thing is just mangled Push the exhaust there. Oh yeah, broadside. Okay, I don't remember that. You're gonna have to lift it up. Well, surprisingly, that went on a lot easier than I thought it was gonna. I don't know if we're just getting better at this, or... That was like best case scenario. Yeah, so we just lifted the front up, back the trailer under, and then lifted the back out. Look, we got rear wheel steering as well, so I this mean, thing... Easier. You know, we didn't have many hopes and dreams for this thing after the tranny went, but, you know, a couple weeks later, when it fired back up again and it jumped, I'm pretty happy. Maybe I'll buy another Ford next year. <laughs> you can't talk so we're gonna get this thing back to the scrapyard hopefully they have something else for us if not we're gonna come back get the saturn loaded up and then we're gonna try and jump the buick tonight so see what we can do let's get her back back it all and all up it's a new bike for anyone that wants one a little wet here today Good, 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 good. Little dangler. Say goodbye to the old sport track, number 69. That thing is crushed. Oh man. She had a good life. Around the block too many times. Rower in the pile. Nice little plate for snow plow there. Oh man. Alright, on to the next. Time to load car number two. The old Saturn triple jumper. She doesn't steer very well now, so I'm just gonna lift her up and drop her on as always. We're good to go. Another easy car that just slid right on there. No problem whatsoever. No problem. Easy peasy. Let's get rid of this thing. Round two. I feel like you live here. We got ah, old eleven. Not too bad. Just paid off. All right, Saturn. Thanks for the three jumps. Get rid of her. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <Whoop>. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that thing will land on you. Not be good. On to the next. We go jump the Buick. Yeah. yeah. There. Okay, you wiener out. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing over there. Oh. Anyways, welcome to the mechanic shop. We're gonna rip the uh, cat off real quick. And then we're gonna jump the Buick. So the front tire is completely done. I do have spares, but that thing is so rusted on. We tried uh, taking it off, but uh, unfortunately it's seized on. So we're just gonna jump it with a flat tire. Strap the steering wheel down, hope for the best. Let's rip this cat off and carry on. The cat is ripped off the Malibu. Now it's time to jump the Buick. So yeah, it has this tire pretty much off the rim. The so last time this ha happened, usually we would change that tire, but it's seized on there. So we're gonna strap it down. We're, we'll do a few test runs up the middle of the track first and then uh, give her the go. Should we try this? I think you should do a Rockford through that puddle. All right. You might wanna turn to the turn right. Cause if you go left, that wind the back window, you're gonna get all the water in there. Yes, I'll go back. So turn right. Right. Yeah, that was better. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Got it? All messed up there. Okay, I'll move this thing out of the way. Right. The old Malibu, or whatever this thing is, Chevy Impala? Malibu, yeah. It is now straight pipe, so. Not that loud, actually. It's gonna be louder. Very loud. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can figure this Buick out. See if we can make it uh, drive somewhat straight. I just tested it. Usually, I put it in neutral, put a brick on the gas, slap it and drive and jump out. But it doesn't seem to want to go wide open from neutral to drive. So I'll uh, have to figure something out here. Uh oh! Oh, he made it over. Didn't get hung up. Wreck the door a little bit. <laughs> That's awesome. This car is haggard. The door is uh, pretty good. I'm mostly worried about this rust here. I feel like that's more of a hazard. So, just gonna just thrash in there. First test. Oh boy, that's not good. My hands are shaking so much. Gonna eat some lift bits here soon. That thing pulls hard right. Hard right. It's quite the forest we got going on up there. Yeah, the Malibu's got uh, it's got no brakes on it. It's a little sketchy. today it's just some mud so we'll see what that does it actually might help by pulling it left it's pulling right so this side doesn't want to spin now no I have a little back drag in there oh front wheel drive problems only one tire wants to spin it's like when you got a four by four truck and all it wants to do is three wheel drive. Ah, oh, the worst. You're like, pull, damn it, pull. And he's like, no, no. Hello. We're gonna attempt to drive up backwards. There's only one wheel likes to spin. What's the chance we just got stuck in the mud now? Oh. Struggle city down here. <laughs> Come on. Oh, junk. Junk bite. Alright, 
Let's just frickin' send it. And you make it back up. So that was just one test just to see how well it's gonna go or where it's gonna go. I mean, it has one tire that's spinning and it's off. It's just basically the rim spinning on the rubber. It's just making a lot of noise and rubbing and going where it wants to go. You know, see what happens. Sometimes the jumps that we didn't think would go anywhere are the best ones. Huh. Alright. You about ready to go? You good? I'm good. Always good. Always jacked up. Home hardware pal. I accidentally turned it off running over, but I just turned it off. Oh man, that was good. I mean, it went about as good as it could have gone for one tire that didn't have a tire on it. Yeah, it like, yeah, it went, and then it just shifted and drive and, you know, set it on cruise. It could have missed all together, so that was pretty good. The strap worked good. I was a little worried because I couldn't go from neutral to drive, so I, I had it in drive already, put the board on the gas, and then I just had my foot on the brake and then I just let it go, so. That went pretty good. Can we get a second out of it though? I don't know. We're still running. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just get a free coffee? Free coffee. Oh. All right, can you still submit these? Or save it for next year. Yeah, true. There you go. I just got a raise. <laughs> Jesus, look at the dash in this thing. Huh. <laughs> I guess the airbag blows the dash off, eh? It's kind of like a super intense window tent <laughs> job. Stuck on. Stuck a four grand. That's hilarious. Don't even need to give her any gas. She wants to die now. I wonder if it's out of gas. Never know. Oh, look at that. He's a ripping in the tearing. Get after it, boy. Oh, tire's almost right off. It's just a rim now, almost. Oh, that thing is angry. It is upset. It's upset because we saw oh, headlights gone. <laughs> Oh, you're staying there. Okay. Is it overheat? All right. Well, I'm going to leave this running. Yeah, it's getting hot. Uh-oh. It's just overheat. Should we let it sit a little bit? I like it. It's vaping. Because this is why you shouldn't vape. One day, it's just you're just going to... Out on yourself. Nothing now? You know what? I think we should call it a day. Come back next week and try and jump it again. Alright. We got the Malibu here that's currently in reverse. I'm standing behind it. Oh, your strap, strap board, the keys. Don't even want stealing it. 
Yeah, I think that was that was a fun little shift. The throttle's stuck on now, so it, oh. as you can see, it overheated and might be able to gas a little bit, but I think it's just mainly overheated. So not too much damage though. Like, no, it went well. It jumped well. How did it jump? Uh pretty good. Yeah. As much as we could expect with a flat tire. Well, I mean, you're missing a tire all together now. Oh, it's basically just, it's almost just rim now. Oh no, it's still there. It's sideways. Yeah. We'll, we'll let the locusts have it. Anyways, we're gonna wrap this up. We got some other stuff to do, then we're headed to Silver Lake. So get excited for those videos. Uh, I think they'll be posted tomorrow, I guess. Um, yeah, check out the links below. Make sure you leave some comments. Make sure you subscribe. If you guys want to see some other cars jump, make a suggestion on what car you want to see. And if you guys have any cars you want jumped, feel free to bring them over. We'll do some messing around and then we'll watch them up the jump. But for now, we're going to get out of here. So we'll see you guys later.